Antonio, thanks for your call. You're on Sikkim 365 Radio on the Bet US caller line. Use promo code Sikkim125. Go ahead. Hey, what's going on, guys? Doing uh, well. Um, just wanted to say you re- I'm really enjoying your coverage of this whole conference realignment thing. Um, full disclosure, I'm a Texas and Texas Tech alum. I got degrees from both schools, so I'm bummed out. I won't see them play each other anymore. Um, and you guys have actually covered everything pretty pretty well, so I appreciate the content. Thank um, you. Thank after you. listening to all the testimony, after listening to all the testimony at that Senate hearing the other day, um, there was a lot of emphasis put on what type of draw a program like Texas brings to uh, communities and to different campuses whenever they're in town. So uh, it may be too early to ask this question, but I want to know, will Baylor fans want Mac Rhodes to schedule out-of-conference games uh, with Texas, if they, especially if it's home and home? Uh, I just want to know what you guys think the uh, general feeling from the fan base would be regarding playing Texas after they leave for the SEC. I'm going to guess. We, we have Mac on yesterday, Good but question. there was so much more. It's a great question, and maybe next week or down the road, that's a great question to ask him. I'm going to probably say no. I'm not sure about what they would do. I don't, but I'm going to guess no. I'm going to guess no based on the fact when A&M left, that was the sentiment. Don't want to play him in anything. And then it took... You know, Steve Smith and Kim Mulkey both scheduling them in down various, the, sports, various yeah. sports down the line for people to be like, okay, well, whatever. And it's the only sport they're not playing them in is, is football. And I, I mean, know that if you're a UT fan, you could give a damn whether they keep playing Baylor or not. But I'm talking about from the Baylor perspective, that was the question. I would say right now, probably not. I'm going to uh, slightly disagree. I mean, I think it, a lot of it will have to do with how does this exit actually occur? Okay, so if Texas and Oklahoma ride this bad boy on out and in 2025 they finally throw up the deuces and see you guys, see you on the other side, then, you know, there's this, I mean, they would have fulfilled their obligation. So how could you be mad at them really, right? They're doing what's best for their program. Would Mac Rose not do the same? Now, I agree that, you know, Tony Creedy referred to like the whole mafia hit style way that this this went down. And I'm sure there's going to be some, you know, bruised egos and some some bad feelings over that. So I could see, just in my opinion, it would kind of depend, you know, sort of how they end up leaving. Uh, but even then, I think maybe there'd be a little bit of a buffer for a year or two. But I think ultimately, I mean, guys, what are we talking about? We're talking about college sports. What is college sports all about at this point? It's about money. Yeah. So who's going to attract more money? You schedule a non-conference game against Texas or a home-and-home home or doing it against UTSA? And I mean, no offense, this is the first team that popped into my head. I know what's going to sell out McLean Stadium, and it ain't the Roadrunners, you know. So, you know, being so close together too, I know what A and M did and, and how that all happened, but I don't think there's. I know there's bad feelings, but ultimately, I just go back to it's about the dollars. And, and Texas Baylor playing is is you know good for Baylor, so I think that they would pursue it. And how but, long have they been playing? Over a hundred years. Yeah, you know, we've I mean, seen like, a lot of those gonna, rivalries end because of egos and bitterness. Or I don't whatever. think it would be a every single year thing either. You know, just on occasion, uh, but. I think it would be kind of doing a disservice if you didn't do that if you had the opportunity, so long as it was respectful on, on both sides. And, you know, I think definitely fans would love to see Scott Drew's basketball team go beat up on them some more, you know, if given the opportunities. Mm-hmm. Head down to Austin to that new arena they're building and the new arena they're going to build in Waco, a little back and forth there. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to slightly right, disagree right, and say, and, yeah. And in what you said, that does make some sense. Paul, 254-339-1122. All right, let's go to Irving in 